hello and welcome to excellence academy today we'll be looking at the third uh, method of differentiation and that's chain rule all right so method three for differentiation and that's chain rule all right so here's your hint chain rule is used when i have a number of terms either adding or subtracting being raised to a power right when i have a number of terms either adding themselves or subtracting being raised to a, a certain power or perhaps um, complex parts for instance if i have that y is equal to let me take 6 plus x for instance all to part 2 all right so for this case here i'll use chain rule the other methods you could use here but consider this one much more later all right so um, with this case one what's the concept behind chain rule for chain rule i have that um dy all over dx is equal to dy all over du times du all over dx all right so here's your case what if i had y being equal to x squared from this now obviously you know that the y over the x is equal to what here yeah? 2x using general method so for this now what if i have y being equal to 6 plus x or the part 2 what's the y over the x here um it's not as easy as this right now why is that so if you observe the paths are the same so why this is so is because in this case now i now have a much more complex um, case as compared to this this was a single number or a single term to part two this is now um double term to part two so the case will now be this for this now the case will be i will say let u be equal to what i have in my bracket so use one term to represent everything in the bracket so u is equal to what there six plus x all right next up um when i had y expressed in terms of x we said if i differentiate y with respect to x it gives you what there the y all over the x but this is not the case here in this case now i have u expressed in terms of x so if i differentiate this it gives you what now du over dx please so it becomes du all over dx is equal to for this now obviously i'll use my um, general method if i differentiate six a constant it gives you what there zero so i'm having zero plus differentiate x it gives you what there one so i'm having one which equal to one so i have that if u is equal to six plus x the u over the x on differentiating this i'll have one next up i have that y is now equal to um why was this but we said all of this should be equal to what u so i'm using u to represent all of this so y is now equal to this is u it becomes u what's here u squared if i differentiate y with respect to u it now gives you what there please dy over du observe i differentiated u with respect to x it gave me du over dx I am now to differentiate y with respect to u it gives you what there dy over du so i have that dy over du is now equal to for this i'll use general method here so this gives you here i'm having 2u into 2 minus 1 is 1 so it gives you 2u so if i now use chain rule so using chain rule using chain rule i have that dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx this is now equal to um dy over du as we said here is what 2u so it gives you 2u times next up du over dx is what 1 so it gives you times 1 so that's now equal to 2u times 1 gives you 2u this is the value of dy 
over dx. Now, here's the case. I cannot express the y over dx in terms of u. It's not proper. So the proper case will now be express u back in terms of x. But, but we said u is what? u is equal to what? 6 plus x. So this is now equal to 2 into u. u is what there? 6 plus x. So this now becomes the value of what here? dy over dx using chain rule. So that's my answer.